That's the thing about flying. It gives you a feeling of freedom. You could say that pilot Jerry Johnston was simply born to fly. Well, I was always interested from as far back as I can remember. Uh, every time an airplane flew over, I was out of the house and I had to go look at it and wave at it, you know, like a little kid would do. Jerry's youthful intrigue took off, turning into an expertise thanks to an unlikely source. His dad's cigarette packs, which back in the 40s, each contained airplane trading cards, teaching him about different planes and their specifications. My siblings, whenever an airplane would go over, they'd, they'd ask me what kind it was. And I usually knew. <laughs> it was just the start of a decorated career. Once, once I got my cub and I had my student license, I, I did a lot of flying. But then... Um, I was in the National Guard since 1950, and uh, I see the guards wanted pilots. Naturally, Jerry wanted in, becoming an officer and heading off to fixed-wing flight school in 63, even learning to fly a helicopter, quite the challenge compared to the fixed wings. Well, <laughs> an airplane you can sit back and relax and enjoy the flight. With a helicopter, you've got to stay on the controls all the time. As impressive as this pilot's training is, it's his experiences and accomplishments with the DNR in Roscommon County that are truly sky high. Just take a look at this video from the late 60s. Michigan decided to get into the water bombing. Jerry is, of course, flying the plane. He piloted a startup program to help Michigan battle forest fires. We could pick up water on a lake as we were taxiing over the lake, and I could you know, and then drop it on a fire. and I. I dropped as many as 33 loads on a fire. A valuable tool for the sometimes fire-ridden forests in northern Michigan and a safety blanket for the guys on the ground. One of the fire officers, his vehicle had stalled. The fire was racing towards him and he was calling for help and I, just, I was on my way with a load so I dropped the load right on Frenchy and <laughs> that kept the fire from getting him. And that's not the only time Jerry may have saved a life. He often took to the air to help police search for missing people. He was soaking wet, the temperature was 18 degrees, and he'd lost his cap, gloves, one of his boots from breaking through the ice. He wouldn't have lasted another hour or two. He was on the edge of hypothermia when we pulled him out. It's dozens of remarkable stories like those that have garnered Jerry quite a list of accolades over the years. From a letter crediting Jerry's moxie from Governor William Milliken, to his latest achievement. It's the Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award, granted by the FAA safety team to pilots who've demonstrated professionalism, skill, and aviation expertise by maintaining safe operations for 50 or more years. People like Neil Armstrong and Chuck Yeager, and people like that have gotten this reward. I'm real proud of it, I'm humbled by it. Uh, Jerry says he's grateful to have just had the opportunity. Becoming a pilot was much more affordable back then than it is now. And while all of the newspaper clippings and awards are nice, it's simply being up here and getting to enjoy northern Michigan from above that brings Jerry the most happiness. The subtle smile tells it all. Well, I never get tired of looking at the scenery. Never cared for getting that white line time. I'd rather fly. But. For Northern Michigan's news leader, I'm Evan Dean.